Hey guys, Martin here from Awaken Realms. Um, today I got something special to you. I got two new games that will be coming from us and those are our Essen uh, Spiel premieres. So as you know, Essen the biggest uh, board game first in the world and we've been like three or four times and we never had a game like to, to open up the first with. Uh, because you know of the Kickstarter cycle and everything and we kind of like never actually had anything to sell in those in our stands which was you know like funny because people were coming and asking like oh can we buy something and we were like eh, you can take a look at Nemesis or you can take a look at Integral but we never had um, and right now we have it uh, those are two quite amazing games from Awaken Realm Slide and Awaken Realm Slide um, we, we created Awaken Realm Slide uh, to kind of tap into the much shorter games that you would play with your family, with your friends, uh, much faster, much more enjoyable. The entry level is also uh, smaller. Um, and both of them, those games, as you can see, are kind of colorful, uh, smaller boxes, also much cheaper than our usual games. Um, and uh, the thing is, the logic behind why, why we kind of chose uh, to also do those kind of games that are not so usual to our, to our board game alliance is uh, a year ago we opened up uh, a board game pub in our city, uh, Wroclaw, and we were kind of expecting that people will play a lot of Lords of Hellas or Nemesis because, you know, like the Swiss Awakening Realms pub. And people really didn't. I mean, a lot of, like a lot of people do sometimes play and so forth and, and that's really cool, but we kind of got into this like people were coming uh, having a beer just wanted to have like an easy fun time with their friends who are not necessarily a huge board game geek um, and and we kind of wanted to tap into into this sentiment uh, with those games uh, with something that is very fast to learn very easy to learn something that's extremely fun exciting uh, but not that you know like not that deep uh, inside the rules uh, so yeah so today we'll be unboxing those two games i will be showing you what you can expect um, at essence spiel and we'll also make a prayer on, on our website um, and those are the first com com like copies that we got from china and i'm quite excited to show you what's inside right guys we'll start with this bigger game called flick of fate so this is a flickery area control game that is you can learn it in three minutes, but it's just extremely fun. Uh, it tests not only your kind of tactical skills, they do, but also, you know, like your agility with your fingers. Um, it was developed by one of our testers. We immediately fell in love with it. And as you can see, there's this, like a huge box. And one of the reasons that the box is huge, because this is one of the few games I know that comes uh, in a startup edition with a rubber mat. Uh, and all that in price of around $35, uh, which is, I think, amazing if considering how many uh, stuff you have in the box. So let's just show you, get this opened. Oh, yeah. All right, and we'll open the box. So as you can see, there are some ancient gods on the cover of the box uh, because the game kind of plays a little bit on the theme of that you are a god uh, controlling your minions and flicking basically your priests on some islands to gain control over them. Uh, so yeah, let's start with the, the biggest, the best components, component that you will have in here. Beautiful rubber mat. As you can see, I love the colors. They are very vivid um, and very, very nice looking. Um, and the kind of the, the reason that we deem necessary for this game for a rubber mat is because you'll be flipping things on that. And if you had a board game, it was very easy to um, kind of get stuck between the uh, between the board or uh, get the board destroyed and with a mat it just it's, it's perfect for this type of game I'll, I'll just show you in a second so uh, on top of the mat you will have some of the stickers that you will put on the um, on the uh, wooden elements that I will show you in a second you have uh, some punch boards uh, with those are special abilities that some of the guards have and points uh, you have a very short manual 
Um, the game is actually um, very simple. It's simpler than the, like it's even simpler than the short manual it says, but there's like all the special skills written in here and so forth. Uh, you got some uh, cards that you will be vo voting on and you got tons and tons of wooden elements. So I will just show you real quick um, some of the components uh, and how we how we can glue the uh, glue them to the bases. Uh, so this is the green temple. Uh, so we can take the sticker and just put on top of it. I'm not really good at this, surprisingly, but hey. Uh, and this is a yellow priest. So I just put a yellow priest on here. All right, okay, that was not that bad. And generally in the game, uh, you will be starting with your like your corner of the base, and you will be trying to land those priests in um, uh, on those islands. And there are some uh, key elements where uh, if you land the priest in here, then at the end of the round, you can build a temple in here. And the temple, as you can see, is really hard to... Well, <laughs> okay, this wasn't the best throw. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, thank you. So it's really hard because it's so big and wooden. It's really hard to uh, move it around. Okay, it's not that hard, but you know, like it's harder than just the usual normal, normal priest size wooden token because this one is moved out really nice. So you will be doing that in turns. Um, so that means that you know, like if you think that you have landed in here, maybe you one of your enemies. The game is up to four players. Will try to uh, flip out your token maybe outside the board. So basically you will try to play it in a way that you will be in the best locations possible, uh, whereas your opponents will be kicked out of those, right? Um, and those are the kind of like the basic rules, but then again, and you, you will be rewarded by points at the end of the round uh, where, your, where your things uh, stand. But uh, it, what's additionally cool about it is that you have those uh, God's cards, which are very light themed, um, as you can see, they are double sided. So we actually have special, uh, special, special abilities and in each of them. Uh, and I will show you one of the, uh, probably my favorite mechanic. So this is, uh, uh, which one was it? The one that made you, Freya. Yeah, Freya had this special token of love. <laughs> And the way it works is you have this special token of love. And you have, for example, your priest and your enemy priest, right? And what you can do uh, is you can try to land from above the heart. Okay, I didn't. But maybe if, if you will land the heart between the two, this means that this priest will now be under your possession. And this is like the standard use of this token, right? Uh, the kind of the funnier use of the token that some players just started to do and we thought like, okay, that's cool, is uh, that they just try to knock down one of the tokens uh, with the token because this is, you know, within rules, you try it. <laughs> uh, and there are a lot of those kind of special abilities um, in here. Uh, with addition to, uh, with additional to those cards, uh, that have some special effects and I will just show you some of them in a second. All right, so here you got some effects and the effects, uh, the way it works is that at the, at the end of the round, basically the players will do a high, hidden vote on one of the two cards because there will be two cards and you can vote one or the other. Uh, and basically, uh, this card will be a rule that will work for the whole next round. And the, the rules are very funny. The, for example, um, you can have a special rule that will say that uh, you need to um, flip your priest in real time. So you're doing it at all, everyone is doing that all this on the same 
in the same time. The other rule can say that you are flipping your priest normally, but with closed eyes. So you need to close your eyes and just flip them <laughs> with it. Um, so there are a lot of kind of uh, module modifications in the game in here. Maybe you want to start one or two plays just like that and then just play with the special effects. And then on top of that, you have all those uh, God's abilities and tokens that you're using. So the game is actually it's surprisingly deep for a flickery game. But like the coolest thing about it is just it's just pure fun. It, it, like to be honest, we never had a game that that were pronouncing so much laughter and like a pure fun uh, before. Um, and that's kind of one of the cool things that we love about Awaken Rooms Light, that we can do those kind of games that are just, you know, like just purely and only about uh, fun factor and that's it. Uh, you don't have to, you know, like overthink stuff. So, all right. And now we have Bees, the Secret Kingdom. Um, this is much more a family game. Um, that's supposed to be quite fast. It's like around 15 minutes, uh, quite cool to play without very complex rules. And it's, it's, it's case basically, as you can see, it's a smaller box, smaller games. It will cost around uh, $20. Um, and uh, they have like beautifully illustrated cards uh, around Beast, obviously. Um, and as you can see, the cover art is also very nice. Uh, let me go through the components real quick. Uh, so in the game, you will have, um, you will be basically controlling, uh, sorry. Um, using using your teeth when opening the stretch form is like the best always like no much no, ma no matter how many boxes you've opened like your teeth is always the best tool all right so you got obviously the cardboard box awaken around slide logotype and inside the box you have the uh, very short manual as I as I told you the game is very simple um, it features the gameplay when you're trying to get uh, the proper uh, pollen gems uh, to buy a special honey uh, cards and you're basically getting a point. There are some special advanced cards if you want to, you know, like get uh, much, like more, a little bit more advanced out of the game, uh, then you can do that. But, you know, like this is a simple game. It's, it is supposed to be a, like a family game, uh, something that you can play uh, with your kids um, and that will be like a 50 minutes filler. Uh, just to have a little bit of fun with it. But uh, inside you have those really nice, uh, beautiful plastic tokens representing uh, the pole. And this is the resource that you will be buying. This is the resource that you will be buying honey. So basically, obviously, thematically, you are kind of like a bee uh, gathering those poles from the, um, uh, from the flowers and like making honey out of it and the better honey you will make uh, the more points and kind of those honey have also some special abilities inside there. Uh, and those are the advancement cards as you can see those like special rules in it but I really love the art in this one it's like extremely colorful and just show you the beauty of um, of this kind of we called it the secret kingdom because I like it's, it's much more popular now, but a few years ago, I think that not many people kind of understood how much bees are important to our world and how awesome they are, basically. Uh, so this is our kind of like, an, our way of also trying to bring a little bit more um, information in the topic and just to kind of highlight the team. And here you have the honey, uh, honey cards where you have the victory points and the, what color of, uh, of gems you need to buy them. Those have some special abilities. Uh, so some of them have some special abilities, some of them just gives you the points. And the way the games works, you will always have like four of them lying and the players will just gathering the, the poles and just deciding which one they want to buy. Whenever they buy, the new one appears. So you kind of want to try to uh, basically find your strategy uh, around those uh, buying those special honeys um, and you know there's like a lot of cool uh, fun mechanics in it 
uh, those cards actually uh, gives you the honey, but it also gives you give the other players as well. So it, it, you'll be always deciding like whether you want to, you know, like use a card that will give you uh, the resource you need, but you need to also have in mind that you, it will give the resource to uh, the other people you have. So obviously at the end, the person with a lot of uh, the, the biggest amounts of points will win. Um, so it's just like short, very fun um, game uh, for families to just enjoy the time. I just have 15, 20 minutes of uh, kind of cool gameplay. Uh, all right, guys. So those are the two games that we'll have at Essen, and we'll also have like a special pre-order site site on GameFound, uh, so you'll be able to find them. Um, and we'll be at Essen at 2F uh, 123 stand. So if you will be there, uh, you need to come by, say hi, I will be there, a lot of our team will be there, so we can just have a chat. I always love those kind of conventions to basically get to know you guys, know what you think, what you like, what you don't like, and that, that's kind of the best feedback that you can always get with, with real people. Um, and basically, both of those games, really proud from the Awaken Realms team. I think they did a quite amazing job on trying to get this pure fun type of game, family games, and uh, uh, I, I hope that you'll, you'll be also able to test it and I recommend you to test the Flicker of Faith uh, because it's just, <laughs> it's just it's pure fun. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching those unboxing videos and see you at us and hopefully, cheers, bye-bye.